Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you the new charts and changed features with respect to charts in Family Tree Maker 2011. Now I've got a person selected here in my pedigree view. So I'm going to go up on the toolbar and click on this publish button right here. Now the first change, I don't know that you'll actually be able to detect the difference, but I'm going to show you where the settings are. So for pedigree chart, if we create the chart, what Ancestry.com has said is that while you're in the book layout, the usage of space on the chart is better. So this layout that is what I wanted to show you in here, you need to have this book layout selected in order to have that difference appear rather than poster. So let me go back to the collection. And then the next chart here, the descendant chart, this change actually applies to the descendant chart and this hourglass chart. So since I'm on the hourglass chart now, I'll just click that one and create it. And I'll go back and show you on the descendant chart what this will look like. Now I'm going to scroll over here to the right. And there's this checkbox now, last descendant generation vertically. So if I, check, if I click this while you're watching down here, what you'll see is on these last row of descendants, the way that these people display will be changed, and that's true across the bottom of the chart. So I'm going to click that, and you'll see that that moved these people. And it squished the chart a little bit um, horizontally. So it made a little bit better use of space. So you have that same checkbox within the descendant chart. Let me just show you that quickly. So here we go. And move those people underneath. Or here on the bow tie chart, there's a change in there. So let me select bow tie chart and click create chart. And now there's this settings button, include siblings of primary individual. So if you watch here underneath this primary individual, you'll see boxes for all of that person's siblings appear when I check this. So now it's spanned a couple of pages and it's got the, that person's siblings selected or listed. And then over here on fan chart is the last set. I'll click create. And so if I select this one, this half circle, you'll see the sort of traditional fan chart showing the, the primary person and then the ancestors going back on either side. There's also an option to view that in different ways. So it's the same information, the primary person and then the ancestors going back in both directions. This one is just simply a 360, a complete circle view of it so it's not so squished together. And then we have the 135 degree view, the 90 degree view, and the 45 degree view. So depending on what your output requirements are or precisely what you want to do with it, you now have options to use any of these different formats. Now Ancestry calls these different charts or they count them as different charts in their marketing materials saying that there are five new, five new charts within Ancestry.com. Call them what you will. You now have these fan chart options.